We uh, thank you for being here and for your service. And uh, the committee meets to receive testimony on the fiscal year 2020 budget request of the Department of Energy's uh, atomic energy uh, defense activities. I'd like to welcome our witnesses, Rick Perry, uh, former governor of Texas, and, and Lisa Gordon Haggerty. Uh, both of you have distinguished yourselves in your fields, and we are very fortunate to have your service. The committee's top priority is to support an effective implementation of the National Defense Strategy. The NDS, which is this manual right here, uh, the commission that put this together, and uh, just as a reminder, this is equally Democrat and Republicans, and it's something that is, uh, is the blueprint for everything that we're doing in the, in the military right now. That commission made it clear that maintaining nuclear deterrence is required. In recent years, since the Cold War ended, Russia and China have increasingly prioritized nuclear programs, while our lack of focus on these programs, uh, we're paying for it now because uh, they've caught us in many, many areas. We've heard a, a few weeks ago from General Hyten at STRATCOM about the need to modernize our nuclear triad, and as he mentioned, that includes the Department of Energy's warheads and infrastructure. Secretary Perry, about three quarters of your department's fiscal year 2020 budget request is in this committee's purview and will help us continue this vital work. I was pleased to hear that the NNSA recently assembled the first uh, W76-2 low yield warhead, which was recommended by the Nuclear Posture Review uh, and authorized by Congress uh, last year. This is an excellent example of how responsive the nuclear enterprise should be uh, from requirement to production it happened in just one year. That, you don't see that very often. But we can't be responsive when half of our facilities are more than 40 years old and a quarter of them date back before uh, World War II. We need to modernize infrastructure across the complex. I was disappointed to learn that we have workers in buildings that with chunks of concrete falling off the ceiling and uh, flooding damaged rooms uh, and expensive equipment that can't be quickly repaired. You know, we have some pictures at each of the uh, at each of the desks up here, and also the, with the two of you who've seen this many times, just to kind of get a visual of how bad things are, and we're going to have to correct that. We owe it to the men and women who work across the nuclear enterprise to provide state-of-the-art 21st century facilities to work in. I'm glad to see that the department is requesting substantial funding uh, for infrastructure modernization. I hope that we're going to be able to maintain a, uh, the bipartisan consensus to fund this work in the future. I look forward to your testimony, and thank you for being here, uh, Senator Reid.